Hey everybody, this is Callaway Talks. I'm Harry Arnett with Arnold Palmer. It's Arnold Palmer. I will repeat that for you watching at home. Arnold Palmer is on Callaway Talks. And Mr. Palmer, thanks again for being here. Um, you've had a long association with Callaway. How did that start? When did, when did that start and how did that start? Well, uh, oh, it's long before. <laughs> uh, I knew uh, Ely way back before he was in the golf club business. He was in the wine business and he was in the, oh, there were a few other things uh, uh, that he had involved himself in. But we were friends and, and we never, the friendship was always there. And then he got into the golf club business. And of course, uh, we used to laugh about that. And, and he did a great job with it. And uh, he was a good guy. He was, he was a friend of mine and we had a lot of fun uh, talking about clubs. I, I often said, just give me the steel in the middle of that wood shaft and I'll be all right. <laughs> and did you guys meet through golf or did you meet through business originally? Well, it was, uh, he's a North Carolina boy and uh, I was a Wake Forest man, so the, the, it was a natural thing that we would meet. Uh, we didn't get to know each other really well until uh, the Callaway situation came along. And then, so that was, you know, <coughs> in, the, in the 90s, I believe, and then um, what was that conversation like to see if you had any interest in, in officially and formally becoming part of, uh, part of you know, Callaway? Well, he became interested in uh, buying a company that I was associated with. So uh, we talked that out and uh, it worked out very well. And, and of course, the fact that uh, he was a, a moving guy. He was a, a very interesting person, one that uh, produced and and kept the ball moving all the time and and of course we had something in common so uh, we put it together and I, I know a little bit about mr. Callaway people said that when he wanted something he tended to get it what was that sales pitch like to you to get you to come aboard well he convinced me <laughs> that if I joined him I could help him do something that he wanted to do and, and I agreed so we joined and so that over the course of you know many years with with the company and you've seen sort of a lot of different parts of Callaway from the good times to not so good to now hopefully you know better again um, and you've stayed with us what's what's the relationship been like as over the past you know 15 years well I think that Callaway is uh, has really found it now and are doing wonderfully well I think the equipment uh, the various strategies that are being in, uh, put into effect in the company it is wonderful. I think it will continue to grow. I, I think that uh, Chip Burr is a great person to be running it. I think he is a welcome to the establishment of golf. He's been there. He knows what he's doing, and and uh, I'm going to endorse him <laughs> whenever or whatever. And. And I think that uh, the company as a uh, general situation has improved way beyond even my expectations. Well, he doesn't exact, Chip doesn't exactly have a barn full of clubs, but being in his office, I think you'd be uh, impressed by the number of clubs that he's got in there. It would remind you, I think, of, of yourself in, uh, in the eye, et cetera. And I hope that's something that people will see from Callaway is just an attention to detail and and really a commitment to, to performance. Well, I think the, uh, the thing that is so important and so good is the fact that, that he is sticking with the principles of good golf and good club making. And that is the most important thing. Uh, I, I really think that Callaway is on the right track. And I think that, well, I'd just like to be around for a few more years to watch the action and watch what happens as the years roll on. And a commitment that you mentioned is probably rem uh, reminiscent of your first conversations with Mr. Calloway about the company and where he wanted to take it, because it was pretty simple back in the day of what he wanted to do with the brand. Well, he did it, and he did a good job, and 
And of course, it was fun working with him. I uh, spent a lot of time just he and I talking about what was going on in the game, and and he has carried it way beyond where even I thought it would go. No better guy to have associated with your company or brand. He's been a part of the game his entire life, obviously, and we're honored to have you as a part of Callaway for many, many years. And as you said, feels like we're just getting started. So let's uh, let's keep going, huh? Well, uh, I think that it was a wonderful thing bringing the Big Bertha back. Now, uh, you can say whatever you want to say about uh, equipment, but the Big Bertha was something that helped make Callaway an outstanding company when they started producing it. And the fact that now they're back with the Big Bertha is unbelievable. And I think that even Chip will be surprised and happy with the results that he gets with the Big Bertha. Well, if we can satisfy Chip, I know that we've done something because he's, just like you, always looking for an edge on the golf course. And Big Bertha certainly is going to bring that to you. I know it's going to bring it to you as well in your bag, one of your bags, because you, you may have been known to maybe go a little bit over the 14 club limit on your cart uh, as you drive around Bay Hill. You mean everyone doesn't <laughs> carry more than 14 clubs? Shouldn't they? Shouldn't they? Well, how about right now on Callaway Talks, we're laying the gauntlet down. Arnold Palmer said it. What do you think is the right number of clubs? 30, 35? Oh, well, as a minimum, that's yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> to, be a, to be in Mr. Palmer's foursome, you have to have a minimum of 35 clubs in your bags, I guess, or two or three bags. Um, I'm in, so let's, let's get that done right now. You know, I, used, I also work for the USGA, so I gotta be careful what I say. <sighs> USGA, well, maybe we could go talk to them up in uh, New Jersey when we're done here. They're wonderful to talk to, believe me. <laughs> to talk to. Arnold Palmer on Callaway Talks. Mr. Palmer, we really appreciate having you on the show today. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.